13 Action News Update sponsored by Bell Medical. I'm Todd Quinones and right now on your 13 Action News Update where the State Board of Health right now is reviewing whether vaccines should be required for students in the Nevada system of higher education. So far, UNLV is not requiring shots, just encouraging them. The school is reminding everyone that masks must be worn while inside public spaces. Now, they're not needed, though, in dorms or private offices, and vaccinated student athletes can compete without masks. Well, this comes right now as state health officials are confirming more than 1,100 new COVID-19 cases just since yesterday. So now in the past week, there has been an average of more than 1,000 new cases every single day. That is more than twice the weekly average just a month ago. They also say the test positivity rate right now is 15.7%. An officer involved crash turns deadly. According to North Las Vegas police, one of their officers was responding to a call when he hit a man who they say was walking in the street outside of a marked crosswalk. Well, it happened right near Las Vegas Boulevard in Lake Mead. The man was rushed to UMC and then later died from his injuries. Las Vegas Metro Police will conduct the investigation. The intense heat relaxes heading into the weekend, but the sunny skies and dry conditions those hold. For Friday, we'll start in the 80s with triple digit temperatures by the middle of the day. A forecast high of 106 for your Friday, which is just a couple degrees above the seasonal average. Sunny skies will uh, stick around through the weekend into the start of next week, so the dry weather, petter, weather pattern not going anywhere anytime soon. A light breeze will still be noticeable on Friday and again by the start of next week, but overall pretty pleasant conditions for those outdoor plans this weekend. Danny, thank you. That was the 13 Action News update. Remember that you could always get the latest news at KTNV.com.